Now to sport with Meredith Sheehan. About what's been the difference, what clicked for him. And leading the news this morning, the Conservatives have made big gains. Along with the many weapons he, he already has. They do believe he was wearing a white t-shirt and blue jeans whenever he took off. Here's a. You got some Galveston beer. Well, thank you. That will be uh, nice for after uh, we are done covering this. All the latest traffic to help you avoid those hot spots this Friday morning, plus lots. All your photos. Put a bit of smoke. Smile your face. Oh, no, no. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Thousands have been built here over the. <laughs> question is how do democracies respond to those scandals uh, and what will it mean for uh, for the wider region i think one of your children's just walked in i mean shift it, shifting shifting sands in the region do you think relations with the north may change um i would be surprised if they do <laughs> the um pardon me That's quite pardon good. me my apologies. <laughs> what risk is going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh, sorry. Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea's policy choices on North Korea have been severely limited. Here's some other great town names. Lititz. It's Lititz. Lititz. <laughs> <laughs> When Monique Vanderstroom first opened her Waianae dairy farm in 2008, she wanted to sell milk, but all the rules and permitting required to bottle the milk made it difficult for the small farmer to do so. Last week, Twitter said, Twitter said guidelines were being updated due to confusion. The company says any users who tweets content... <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. Once it's turned on, the sign will spell out Deli Cat Essen. After being briefed on such a horror, 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 horror crime. Over the last two years, hundreds have landed in the Summit County Medical Examiner's Office. My brother used to break in our house and steal the TV. But now he's dead. I'm on Jackson Street and I, I call the police on my own kids. I'm sick of it. Hey, boy, shut up. Here's like an actual customer out here. Uh, what's uh, what's the best kind of firework to buy? Wouldn't you like to know, Weather Boy? Your name? Adrian Peterson. Hi. Wait a minute. You're not. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were there. And first and last name, please. Uh, Erica O'Donnell. And can you spell first and last? F I R S T L A S T. <laughs> I met your first and last name. Uh, <laughs> also on Chef was Constance Landry. She says she's lived here her entire life, almost 80 years, been through just about everything. I'm 80 years old. Well, just about. I'm sorry, Miss Constance. 76 to be exact. No, 75. 75. Are you coming back to New Orleans and New Orleans East? Is the elephant heavy? I'm coming back, baby. Good Thursday morning to you. I'm Joy Redmond. Your time right now is 7.57. Take a look here as MDOT traffic zooms into an accident you certainly want to be aware of as you're heading out the door this morning. All right, let's focus on the... relating to her or not but wow that was really dramatic there's a reason they call these people heroes i mean they were going at a really good clip there we've had some hot weather i guess you know the good news is yeah send what does that say 
send something, please. Let's say help. Um, well, but it looks it like the uh, the hiker or the, that young woman appears to be okay physically. Uh, looks like it was a uh, successful operation. <laughs> that is Diamond. A couple had stopped at the subway in Grove City for some lunch when they saw this little dog barking and honking and its owner to hurry up. The video was posted on Facebook. <laughs> Turns out this is not the first time Diamond has caused a ruckus. The pup has been seen around town doing this. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Todd's about to lose it. Oh, but seriously, what a sassy dog. <laughs> I can't. Look, the boss. <laughs> Do <laughs> <laughs> so you standing over there with your body? Going you to rock with your body? What are you and doing? Seriously. I've been around now. Okay, I'm gonna look at the forecast while they sing. Let's go ahead and take a look Wait at a this minute. morning. Wait a minute, we're live on TV right now? <laughs> yes. What? Nobody gave us a chili farm. A chili, far a chili start for some. <laughs> A fairly quiet weekend. 88 Mobile, Fair Help, 88 Pensacola, Destin at 88. <laughs> La gente aquí está loco por verte en bikini, oh, pero la cámara dime. nada más está tomando la mitad de tu cuerpo. Le podemos bueno, decir al camarógrafo que abra. Mire, mire mi cuerpo, Raúl. No, pero ahí no está. Yo quiero que la gente vea. En el. A ver. How are you feeling? Mm, uh, excuse me. Can I speak English? You. Me? No English. No problem. Every time happy. I have a pen. I have a oi. Hey, a popper. Oh my God. Thank you. Go. Go home. I go home. F the way. F? F the way. F of France. Of Master Frederick. Wall, uh, no, Frederick. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, oh, no, no, that's a oh. <laughs> I think it was an angel. Can you handle it? Like An example of what we're seeing here. Look at them sharing water just out of the cap of that bottle. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure that that was water. Well, a former British serviceman, Leslie Binns, turned around to save a woman who collapsed while she was on her trip trek. Uh, but he's now attempting to scale the world's highest mountain again. He's going back and joins us now in the studio ahead of his next mission. Good morning. I think you have the wrong guest, sir. Ah, ah, you are Todd Landman, <laughs> aren't you? Indeed. You know, it's ever so you funny. You look so heroic. I, I looked at this much. man and I thought, he doesn't necessarily look like a mountaineer. I think our mountaineer is that man behind us. <laughs> That's the one.